Hi everyone, Jose Ignacio coming at you with another tutorial. Now here at Stealthy Wood, the very legitimate, you know, wood enterprise that I represent, we already see the benefits of using live chat to, you know, support our teams. Now in my case, you've actually seen me already do a quick tutorial about them. You know, I helped the customer out who was very wrong and we are always right. Now, however, we don't always have the staff to cover the channel 24 seven. I got to get some sleep. Mitchell Abin has to sleep. Audrey Peterson, the list goes on. Now that is why we've decided to take advantage of another feature of our Odoo database, chatbots, because everyone is getting replaced by AI. So what exactly is a chatbot? No, we're not spamming about car warranties. We are a different kind of breed. Now a chatbot is a program designed to mimic an actual conversation with a live human. Now using a pre-written set of questions, answers, and messages, a chatbot will guide website visitors through a series of steps the same way your support team would, because it's just that smart. Now, chatbots can go beyond providing essential support. They can also be programmed to generate leads, capture contact info, create tickets, and even forward the conversation to an available live chat operator. And since you can tailor every conversation to fit the web page your chatbot will be placed on, you can design different chatbots to fulfill different needs. For instance, a job bot to help recruit applicants, an after hours bot to cover customer service when your employees aren't on the clock anymore, and even a survey bot to gauge customers' opinions. And we love customers' opinions. A lot. You know, honestly, it's endless. You can make a bot for anything. You can even make a friend bot in case your customers are lonely. But I'm really pumped up. Let's go see how to do this. Enough chit chat. Let's go into our Stealthy Wood database to see how we can add a chat bot. All right. The very first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we have live chat enabled for our help desk team. Now, we should already have it configured for the customer care team since we set it up earlier. But let's just make sure. I've been making mistakes. I'm not perfect. So we're going to head on over to configuration, teams, and then to customer care. And when we scroll down here, we'll see that live chat has been enabled. Great. No mistakes so far. No doopsies. Now, before I can set up the live chat channel, I have to make sure that I have the chatbot built. It's not, you know, going to exist on its own. So I need to head over to the live chat application and click on configuration and chatbots. So we're going to go over there. And once that we're all set up here, we're done. All right, now here we have a list of the current chatbots in the system. Let's see what an existing chatbot looks like so we can have an idea of what our script, you know, should look like. So we're going to click on this one. Now we can see that the bot starts the conversation with a general greeting. Here we go. Help is on the way. Very robot, rescue robot like. Now this is followed by a question with two specific answer options. Then the bot follows up with a series of steps. Now, as you can see, each step is prompted by the visitor's answer to a previous question, kind of like a trigger as we've seen in other types of Odoo applications. So if we look at this line right here, to start with, do you have a customer reference? The bot will only send that message if the visitor indicates that they have an administrative question. Now to add a step in the script, I can actually click over here onto add a line and we'll get this pop-up window. Now here I can put the message that I want the bot to say. This is also where I can select what kind of step this is, as you can see over there. And the only if field lets me set the conditions that should precede this step. If this step should be triggered by an earlier message, I should definitely choose it here. So I'm going to add a line here titled, thank you. Cause we want to make sure that, you know, they are thanked. All right. And I can actually leave the only if field blank here and we're going to select save and new. Now let's take a look at the other steps available. Now, when I choose question, a new set of fields will appear where I can input all the choices I want the visitor to be able to choose from. There's also space here to include links included, you know, or associated with each selection. Now in our case, we're going to select this drop down. Now you'll notice I can also choose email or phone for the step type, which will allow me to capture a visitor's contact information. Now this is especially useful for lead generation for that lead gen bot. You want to make that lead gen bot pay attention. Now this option 
forward to operator as you guessed it what does it do doers it's a great feature to use if you want your chatbot to work alongside your existing team you can have the bot ask qualifying questions while the visitor waits for a live chat operator to become available now not only does this save your team members time but it can help prioritize workload essentially a person is talking to a robot up until the point where somebody is freed up giving the illusion of a massive team now in our case we're going to click over here now the free input options will let visitors type in anything they want as well now this will then be saved in a conversation history now the final option that we have is probably the most important one oh doers so pay attention it is create tickets now this allows the chatbot to funnel the conversation directly into a ticket for your help desk team. Now once this option is selected, you're prompted to choose a team. In our case, legendary customer care team. Now, when a visitor reaches this step in the conversation, a ticket will be created and the conversation will be added to the ticket description so that the team member can reference it. But in our case, we're just gonna discard that. All right. Now, I can drag these steps as well as you can see to change the order they will appear in the chat. Now, while you're working through the strip, you know, the script steps over here, and you're kind of wondering, you know, what it will look like to a visitor, you can actually use the test button that we have up here. And it is very useful, oh doers. Test as you go, please. It'll save you so much trouble. But okay, so we have our scripts and we have our channel. Now let's put it all together and see our chatbot in action. All right, now we're gonna head back to the live chat channel for customer care and we're gonna click on the channel rules tab. Now, as you can see, we've already added live chat to the help desk URL, but now we wanna add our chat bot as well. So we're gonna click on slash help desk URL and we're gonna select help desk bot as the chat bot. Now, if I check this box here, enabled only if no operator, this bot will only start talking to a visitor if none of my team members are present. And that's kind of useful because if I want to take advantage of that, you know, forward to the operator step, I want to leave this setting off. Okay, everything looks good. So I'm gonna save. But let's go ahead and see what this looks like to a customer. All right, a doer. So here I am over, you know, on the very beautiful Stealthy Wood help page. Now, Let's say I have an administrative question and I decide to have that option selected over here. You'll notice that I'm being talked to immediately and this isn't a human as we talked about. Now, yes, I do have my customer reference, Mr. Bot or Mrs. Bot. And then we go forward through this all. Now you'll notice the chat bot is asking me about my issue. And I will say that I was overcharged. Now, I will give them my email address because I would like to have a confirmation of my ticket sent to me. It could be anything at this point. I always use very legitimate ones. And there we go. I have a ticket created for me. And did you notice we did that in minutes? Actually, basically a minute. Now, once that we're done with everything here, I can head back over and show you what it looks like as an operator. So here I am, Mr. Operator Jose Ignacio. Somebody just used my bot. And now that I'm back in the database, I could see and show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna go over to the help desk app where I can actually click on the tickets button for the customer care team. And right here, I can see the new ticket. Our bot works. There wasn't a no doopsie this time with that. Now, if I look here, I can see the customer's email address and I can see all of their very beautiful and very real chat log and the ticket description. Ah, oh, I love seeing everything. I could even see the confirmation email over here that was sent to the customer. And look at that, it was really that simple. Now, adding a chatbot to your website is a fast and effective way to streamline communication between your team and your customers. And now that we've seen firsthand how easy it is to configure, you can have your new chatbots up and running in no time. Pretty soon you won't need that many people and I will also be replaced by an AI chatbot. So thank you for watching for the time being. And happy chatting for the time being.